Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a thriller recommendations video. Last month I did my first recommendations video and I recommended new adult romance books and that video got a lot of positive feedback and everybody was saying I should do this for more genres. So it's October and what better time of year than to recommend some thrillers that I love. Let's just get right to it. The first one I'm going to recommend to you today is Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn. And I know you're probably like, oh my god, why do you even need to recommend this? Everybody's read Gone Girl, but like, I just need to mention it because this is one of my favorite thrillers of all time. And if you love thrillers, it's like step one, read Gone Girl, you know? So if you don't know, it follows this guy named Nick whose wife Amy goes missing. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can say plot wise. Um, but this book is so intense. It is a little bit slower paced than some thrillers. Um, once it picks up in the second half though, it's impossible to put down. Highly recommend Gone Girl. Next one I want to recommend that's also kind of like obvious is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. It follows this girl who sees this couple every day on this train when she goes into work and then one of the people um, in that couple go missing and then it's this whole big crazy thing of plot twists and um, yeah, this book definitely had a lot of plot twists at the end that I didn't see coming. So the next book I'm going to recommend is Into the Darkest Corner by Elizabeth Haynes and this book follows this girl named Catherine who is in this relationship with this guy named Lee who's like super like crazy kind of and almost like abusive and just really controlling and creepy and um, she finally like gets away from him and he's in jail and then this book take pla takes place four years later. Darkness from her past is catching up with her and she like thinks that she can like feel him everywhere she goes. This book is definitely slower paced than a lot of other thrillers I've read but it's also really 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 good. This book had one of the most like creepy endings like it gave me freaking chills. The trauma from her past definitely still affects her so it makes the book a little bit repetitive and slower paced but once you get towards the end it's definitely worth it. It's so freaking intense and I still consider this to be one of my favorite thrillers. I just I love it so much. Next one I'm gonna recommend to you today is The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. This book is about a guy who catches his wife cheating on him and so one day when he goes to the airport he's randomly talking to this woman in a bar and he's like venting to her and saying like he can't believe he caught his wife cheating and that he wants to like kill her for it and then the lady in the bar is like well I think you should do it. And this book is awesome it kind of reminds me of Fargo in that sense where this woman in a bar is like persuading him to kill his wife and then he's kind of like like he believes that he should do it too and it kind of reminds me of Fargo and the way Billy Bob Thornton's character just comes and starts persuading people to like commit crimes and stuff. Loved all the backstories on these characters. It was so cool. Each part of this book it's like divided into three parts and each part of this book is like narrated by a different character which I thought was really interesting and so cool but this book is so good. It had so many plot twists that I didn't see coming. I was just blown away. So good. If you haven't read this one yet definitely check it out. The next adult thriller I'm going to recommend is Night Film by Marisha Passell. This book follows this investigator who's looking into the suicide of a 24 year old girl. Girl that committed suicide. Her dad is like this big time director in the movie business, Cordova. Her dad has made all these like horror movies over the years and there's been all these crazy tales of like his movies. This book is so good. It's like definitely slower paced. It takes a long time to build up and 600 pages but the entire book has this really creepy like eerie vibe throughout the whole thing and I personally got through this book very quickly. I was very immersed in the story and I was obsessed with what was going on. This story also has a lot of like really cool like graphics in here like website pages and like creepy imagery. Yeah, and there's another like web page. I personally loved the ending of this book. I know some people are like mm -hmm, about it, but I love it. It gave me fucking chills. The next one I'm gonna recommend for you today is You by Caroline Kepnes. This was one of my favorite books from last year and this one definitely in my opinion is somewhat of a dark comedy. Um, it's definitely a thriller though, like don't get me wrong, it's very intense. It's about this guy named Joe Goldberg who starts stalking this girl named Beck. Joe Goldberg is one of my favorite characters of all time. I know I talk about him all the time on this channel, but like seriously, he's so like funny. Like he's so darkly funny. He's like a character similar to like Dexter from the series, uh, Dexter, Lou Bloom from Nightcrawler, or American Psycho basically. One of those creepy characters that are like 
funny kind of and you can't help but like him and i love this book i love everything about it it's so intense it's fast paced and the next one i want to recommend to you today is unravel by calia reed and this book follows this girl named naomi who is in this uh, psychiatric hospital. While we're reading this book, we follow her while she's in the hospital, and then we follow her flashbacks from when she was in college. Holy shit, this book had one of the biggest plot twists I've ever freaking read. I, like, literally, like, like dropped the book and was like, what? I couldn't believe that I didn't see it coming, but, like, holy shit, it, like, changed the game. That plot twist, though. Please, please, please read this book. It's so underrated and it's so good. The next one I want to recommend is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This one is though definitely more of a sci-fi than it is a thriller, but I still felt like it was worth recommending because it's awesome. And it follows this guy named Jason. One night he's abducted and he wakes up in a world that isn't his own and his wife isn't, isn't his wife and his son was never born and now he has to figure out a way to get back to them. This book is so fast paced and intense and mind blowing. This is unlike anything I've ever read before and it's freaking phenomenal and it's written so beautifully and the characters are so realistic and well-rounded and just great and uh, I can't say enough great things about this book. It's definitely one of my favorite books of all time so definitely go check that one out. And the last adult thriller I have for you today, romantic thriller, so this one's definitely a heavily romance and thriller and that is He Will Be My Ruin by K.A. Tucker. This book is about this girl who finds out her best friend committed suicide and so she goes back to her apartment in New York to like clean it out but she has this strong belief that her friend didn't actually commit suicide so she starts diving into her friend's past and while she does she discovers a ton of shit about her friend and she also has this romance going on between the building's super and this guy from her best friend's past who was somehow involved. It was really good and yes, so definitely recommend this one. So the first young adult recommendations I have for you today is Dangerous Girls by Abigail Hawes. This book follows this girl Anna and her best friend Elise. They go on this vacation to this foreign country with all of their friends. Anna's best friend Elise is found murdered and everybody in her group thinks that she did it. Super intense, super interesting. This book reminds me of like Gone Girl meets Mean Girls. It's very like young and catty with the female friendship. The ending of this book is completely shocking and just amazing. Oh, it's so good. Like this book is just written so well and I love it. Definitely, definitely check this one out. The next one I'm going to recommend actually has a similar-ish plot and that's With Malice by Aline Cook. So this book also has two young girls who are best friends who go on a vacation to a foreign country. One of the friends wakes up in a psychiatric hospital and she doesn't remember that like her best friend is dead and something crazy has happened while they were on this trip and she has like no memory of like what exactly happened. To be honest, I would recommend Dangerous Girls over this book, but if you read Dangerous Girls and you really loved it and you're looking for something similar to that that involves like a foreign vacation and two girls and like a mystery murder that happened, then this one definitely will like give you that fix. The next one I want to recommend is Living Dead Girl by Elizabeth Scott. And this book is about this girl who gets abducted at a very young age. Kidnapper is this like really creepy dude and he like keeps her locked up and this book is really short. It's very easy to read. I read it all within like one night and I believe it only took me like an hour. It's very short. And this book is just very like intense it definitely keeps the pace throughout the book the way this book ends was really like whew, so intense next one i want to recommend is shadowlands by kate bryan and this book is about this girl who is being stalked by one of her high school teachers the police work with her so they they can move her family to Juniper Island so that she can get away from this teacher that's stalking her. This book is just so intense and it's so underrated to be honest. Like I feel like nobody's read this book, but it's so good. It's like, and it's written like beautifully and fast paced and the ending of this book has such a freaking huge plot twist and this is like a part of a trilogy. So the plot twist at the end of this book like changes everything everything for the rest of the series. It's such a good thriller, like more people should read this honestly. It's just, it's really, 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 really good. The next one I have to recommend is 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad. Paranormal thriller that takes place on the moon, which is 
freaking epic in my opinion and it's unlike any thriller I've ever read before. These three young people got chosen to go up to the moon with a couple of other astronauts and then while they're on the moon all this weird paranormal freaky shit starts happening. This book was so creepy. Like I read it late at night and it gave me freaking chills. Like it was so good. And this book has one of those endings that you're just like what the freaking awesome so definitely recommend this one and the last recommendation i have for you today is the seller by natasha preston i wasn't going to include it in this because i wasn't a huge huge fan of this book but i thought it was still a decent enough thriller to mention this book is about this girl named summer who gets abducted by this guy in the woods when she's at this party he brings her back to his cellar obviously and down there she meets these three other girls who he's also abducted and he calls them um, um, his flowers and he renames them after flowers so then her new name becomes Lily. To be honest it does get a little bit repetitive and the writing isn't that great. I mean um, this was originally published on Wattpad and you can definitely feel like this was someone's first draft of work. Like the vocabulary is very basic and it's not written very well per se. It didn't necessarily though like love the man who um, captured them. I didn't find him very creepy. I just thought he could have been written better. He was a very cliched, stereotypical, villainous bad guy. You know, he like there wasn't anything about him that was like very creepy to me or that stood out like amongst other villains that I've read about. This book definitely, it's not at the top of my recommendations list, but if you're looking for something that involves like kidnapping and something that's like darker and intense, then I would recommend this one. Um, but don't expect this book to get too dark because it never really does. But I do recommend this one. It does have an interesting story and yeah, if that sounds at all interesting to you, then give it a read. And some people love it, some people hate it, and I'm somewhere in between. So those are all of the thrillers I have to recommend to you today. I'm thinking about doing like contemporary temporary um, recommendations just because I have so many of those but breaking it down into like subgenres you know with contemporaries because I do have like way too many of those. Have you read any of these thrillers? What are your thoughts on those? Um, if you have any recommendations for me then please let me know. I'm always looking for new thrillers especially at this time of year. I just want to read more thrillers. Yeah so thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Thank you.